What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with a new game for the channel. This one's called Nimbatus the Space Drone Constructor and it's kind of similar to uh, to Cosmeteer. It's a sort of side-scrolling spaceship drone building game and uh, the devs did send me a key to use. It is a, a pre-alpha game. It's in very early development and uh, if you guys are interested I would say go check them out on their Kickstarter. I'll put the uh, link in the description below. What really got me hooked on this game is, uh, well, first of all, there's a lot of a lot of things to do. You can see there we have this whole galaxy to explore. So just a lot of stuff to do, number one. And number two, uh, the game has a whole element of logic blocks to it. So, of course, you guys know me. I'm a big fan of logic based stuff. And this game is, is sort of, you can build ships that are completely manually controlled if you want to, but then of course you can also build ships that are fully automated and everything in between, some that have partial automation and some that don't. And so today I thought we would look at, you know, just doing a few missions and uh, we'll build a custom ship and then we'll perhaps look at the one that I've built that's a little bit better. So the premise of the game really is quite simple. You uh, explore from planets to planet and each planet you have to conquer. You can see there when it, you get this yellow ring, that means you've conquered the planet. And you have to do that by doing uh, certain, you know, things. Really, you know, we just moved to a planet. So we're going to go to planet Bessie here. Let's start travel. Pretty simple stuff. And uh, destroy the transmitter is the mission. Uh, I do have this behemoth of a drone, which we'll get to that in a sec. I'll, I'll explain why this thing's pretty cool. But we're going to create a new drone just so you guys can really see uh, how it works. So we start with this really simple drone brain. Nothing much we can do with it and we have a whole slew of parts so we've got armor blocks uh thrusters batteries fuel tank shields you know and we can unlock more parts as well i don't i don't really have too many parts we've only gone through a few planets and i don't think there's any real size to the drone any size limit so we can put a block here for example and see we can only place it within this radius but if we put a block here then we can take another block and we can actually just start it at this block you see so we could make this you know, really, really large if we wanted to. So I don't know if there's actually a limit or not. I haven't really played around too much with that. But regardless, let's just build a really simple robot. So we need, for, for a really simple one, we need some solar panels for some power, right? So that's that's a starter. We need some thrusters. Oh, no, some really basic thrusters. Let's give it some powerful ones. Uh, so these will be our, our forward thrusters, right? And we'll make this WASD controlled. So we'll just click these, we'll map the key here. And I really like that. It seems like you can map just about any key on your keyboard. Like I could map this to R if I wanted to. So it's really, really cool how you can just take a robot and completely custom make it however you want. Um, so we've got some thrusters. We literally need some fuel for them. So let's just put a, a fuel tank right in the middle there in the back. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, batteries, we're good there. So we need some steering. Uh, well, you know what, let's put some reverse first. So let's let's do a couple small reverse thrusters. Nothing too big for reverse, just a little little guy there and a little guy there. And we'll map these to S again. And then for steering, we'll just do one here and one here and one up here. And we'll just do the, you know, the tank kind of steering, right? So uh, A, this will be A here and this will also be A. And this will be D and this will be D. And if, if we've done this right, we should be able to test fly this. You see, we can turn A and we can turn D. And then if we go W, we can go forward. That's amazing. And then, oh boy, let's go this way. And then S goes backwards really slowly. We're getting shot at. And we can turn gravity on too. You know, we can make gravity, um, you know, normal gravity, lighter gravity. Running out of fuel pretty quick. And so you see, we've got a basic drone. Uh, we don't have any weapons and we're going to get, we're eventually going to die here. So let's just, yeah, no, see, we just lost. Okay, no, let's, let's, let's put some weapons on this and more fuel. Look at that, we are, we are killing everything. I mean, as long as we don't run out of fuel. Oh, excellent, excellent. All right, so now let's take it down to the planet. So we'll save this and exit. We'll call this the um, uh, super awesome version one. Okay, excellent. All right, so now we gotta launch the planet and go and destroy the transmitter tower, I think is what it said we had to do. Some Destroy something. Usually the missions seem to be destroy something, so it's not too bad. Uh, so we'll just hold space there. Wait until we float down to the surface here. There's nothing really on this planet. Kind of dark. Okay. Some lava there. Is there even any ships? I mean, it did say low threat. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Let's just... Yeah, you guys are dead. Done. 
Okay, that, that's obviously what we gotta destroy. Okay, well that was the easiest mission. Okay, you know what? Let's go... Let's go to a different planet. We've gotta have something that's a little bit more... Oh, wow, that unlocked so much though. Okay, here we go. Still risk level low. Destroy transmitter, destroy hives. So the good thing about hives is I know they spawn enemies. So let's let's try this here. And we'll uh, we'll try it again with our super awesome version 1. Alright, perfect. We're getting shot at right away. That's how you know it's a good sign. I'm, I'm a huge fan of this game. I love building these drones. And uh, oh my goodness, there's a rocket somewhere. Okay, let's destroy this hive. This ship's not very good at staying stable when we get hit by those uh, big cannons there. But I mean, we've got infinite shields, so too much energy for you. Uh oh, except that thing can shoot through the shields. We can't even hit the hive. There's just too much stuff spawning. Come on, hit the hive. Nice. Uh oh. No, that's not good. Okay, we're good. We're good. See, obviously, we need some automation. Uh, we need something that would keep us off the planet surface, number one, and number two, something that would adjust for gravity would be absolutely great. But, uh, you know, this thing doesn't do too bad. Perfect. It's just, yeah, no, you know what? Leave me alone. Oh, yeah, nothing you can do about it. We'll just land right here next to you. Hello. Perfect. Yep, no, we're just parking the ship on the ground. Save some fuel. I think this game's great, honestly. Um, I can't wait to see what other kind of missions they have. I haven't really done too many other custom missions. Most of the missions have really just been destroy this, destroy that. Are we stuck? Are we, are we stuck? Oh my goodness. Gravity's too much. The small thrusters can't do it. Ugh. Come on. Okay, come on. Come on. I actually can't do this. We're actually we're actually stuck here. Okay, you know, let's just dig ourselves a hole. Here we go. You need to put big thrusters in all directions, I think, was the uh, the moral of the story there. Alright, we're good. One more hive. That should be this one. Alright, so now we just have to find that transmitter. So, if I remember from the last one... Oh, okay, it should be near these guys, right? That looks... That's the transmitter right there. Perfect. Another hive there. I guess we don't really need to destroy that, but we might as well anyways. And then we'll get out of here. Come on. Turrets. Perfect. Alright, let's get out of here before we run out of fuel. Awesome. So anyways, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this game. Uh, obviously, with me, I'm a big fan of the logic stuff. So let's find a really hard planet because I'm gonna we're gonna use the logic robot now. Destroy hives, perfect. We're gonna use the super awesome self-align V1. So the thing with this drone, which is what I did, is we've got some logic hooked into it. So number one, there's a switch for the shield generators, so you can just turn it on and the shield generators will stay on. Number two, we have a lot of thrusters and weapons. Uh, number three, we've got this directional sensor which aligns with gravity. So the ship actually stays perfectly lined up with gravity. So it doesn't have a reverse command. The ship only has left and right and up. And it'll actually keep itself with these laser sensors here away from the planet a certain distance. So you really just have to hold A and D and shoot stuff. It's honestly like the coolest thing in the world. So I'll, let, let's, you know, let's just use it. All right, so we tap R and that turns on our shields. And then we'll just, you know, we'll pretty much just float down to the surface. And you can see if these laser rangers, when they turn green, it actually activates the thrusters to keep it off the ground. Uh, of course, then we could press space and, you know, just completely obliterate everything below us because that seemed appropriate to have. It also works if you want to drill to the surface. And then, of course, we can just hold A and D. So I'm literally doing nothing but holding D here. And uh, the ship's keeping itself aligned with gravity. And, of course, we've got all these turrets. So really just, I mean, the next thing, the next step with this ship, of course, is to have it just seek and destroy targets on its own. But really, I love the logic capability in this game. I'm always a big sucker for any building games that have any sort of logic in them. Because I find it just opens up the possibility a lot more and uh, allows you to just make more automatic stuff. But I mean, this is the easiest thing to do. I'm just holding A, or holding D, sorry, to go to the right and just shooting. I mean, I really have no effort and can hit space there and just, you know, is amazing. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of this game uh, down in the comments down below, of course. There is all sorts of stuff you can do. I think you can build detachable drones in this. I'm not entirely positive, but I did see some sort of like a connection block that lets you connect two drones together. So let me know what you guys think and uh, what kind of drones you think I should try and build. I do really want to try and build a lot of automated stuff. Obviously this still isn't automated, but I mean it is pretty close. It does a lot of the, uh, uh oh, can't fire both sets of weapons at the same time. 
but it does a lot of the movement for me. Like, I mean, I'm just holding A, D right now. You can see those two thrusters on the side. And then as we get close to surface, it will uh, adjust itself accordingly. So let's just, let me show you what I'm talking about though with the self-aligning gravity thing. Uh, destroy large hive at the planet's core. You know what? This is perfect. Let's just, let's just do this. This is really going to show you how the, uh, the center of the planet core works. Because let's go destroy the large hive. Hopefully if it's, uh, if it's at the planet's core, we should have a lot of space around it. So let's just, here we go. Yeah, let's go straight down. Oh, no. One set of weapons. That's right. Perfect. Alright, let's just go right in here. Yeah. These beams, though, they are really awesome for drilling. I mean, just so quick. You really have to try out the drilling stuff, too, for uh, for mining and all that sort of thing. Get more money. Alright, let's just drive down in here. Perfect. Large hive. Alright, there we go. So we're just gonna sit here with our lasers on until the hive gets destroyed. I mean, that's pretty much... You can see the, the distance meter is actually keeping us at this height off the hive, so there's really no issue there. Uh, we'll just, uh... Are those hitting the... I'm assuming they're hitting the hive. Do they not do damage to it? Maybe they don't do damage to it. You know what, let's just, let's just shoot it with cannons. Wow, that has... Okay, perfect. Awesome. So now we're going to get to the gravitational center of the planet. Right here. And uh, the ship will kind of stop moving. But now you can see if we turn, the ship's always trying to aim towards that gravitational center. So even if we go out here towards the outside, as I turn to the one direction, it has this extra thruster at the top. And that's activating every time this activates. So it goes, oh, okay, I have to keep myself aligned with the center of the planet. As you see, we can do all sorts of cool logic stuff, and, uh, you know, it really, really makes this game quite awesome. So, let me know again what you guys think down in the comments down below about this game, and make sure you hit that thumbs up button, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm definitely going to try and build some more cool logic-based stuff in this game. I think I'm going to try and do the next set of levels without actually touching the controls. Just build a robot that, you know, you can put down on the surface, and it'll just go around and shoot everything. I don't know if that's entirely possible, the whole seek and destroy type thing. But uh, I think we'll try that for next video. So again, hit those buttons down below and uh, hit up that comment section. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all next time. Alright, let's go hunt down this hive.